Step 1. In July 2011, a citywide steering committee was assembled, composed of representatives from each council member office, community boards and local community-based organizations from each district, and citywide organizations working within five areas including good government, research, policy, community organizing, and community education. The Citywide Steering Committee is responsible for designing the basic process of PB in New York City and making major decisions during the implementation. The group met at the CUNY Graduate Center at workshops to write the guidelines for the process. Throughout the coming months, they continued to meet to ensure everything was on track and reflect on how it was going. This was time consuming and required concerted effort from everyone, but commitment and coffee kept them going. On September 14, 2011, a press conference at the City Hall steps formally announced the launch of PB in New York City. Step 2. I think as people learn about it, they're getting more excited. I, I don't think people are used to the elected officials coming and giving them some of the power that they have. So I think as they get used to that, they'll see that it is real. Uh, we're not just, you know, using everybody's time. We're actually going to take what they say and move it forward. Um, I got involved because I think it was important for the community to know where the million dollars is going to. Um, the reason I chose to come tonight was because I wanted to know where the money was going. I wanted to be involved in the process of making sure that money was allocated to projects that needed attention. And being a, a, a lifetime resident, I wanted to be part of that process. Throughout October and early November, neighborhood assemblies were held in each district everyone who would consider themselves a stakeholder, anyone who cared about that area, was encouraged to come out and attend one of these meetings. Because they, they immediately said, well, what's the participatory budget? Never really heard about it before, but their approach is very simple. I mean, they, they explained it and they said, well, listen, you could actually make a real debt in your community and you can go out there and your voice can be heard. Your projects, your ideas can actually come to fruition where you can actually see it, some tangible results from it. And those are things that got people very excited. I have lived in my neighbor since 1982, so I'm alive. <laughs> I've been there more than her. I've been there since 1968. Same house, same block, same everything. I've seen it go wrong. It changes. It changes. In the first half, a PowerPoint presentation explained PB and how it would work in New York City, followed by a period of Q&A to clarify any confusion. In the second half, Everyone split up into small groups to brainstorm and discuss issues the area faces and how the funds allotted for PB this year could address them. It is really wonderful just to hear the conversation, the energy that really went on in the room here tonight um, with different community residents really, you know, diving in and taking an active part as to identifying what their needs are. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm so excited about the whole process and about tonight's turnout. You know, despite the fact that it's at a time when people feel skeptical, disappointed in government, and maybe even uh, down on democracy, uh, the idea of participatory budgeting is if you give people uh, a real say in decision making, uh, you know, come out and work with their neighbors and come up with projects and, and uh, really take part. And you're seeing that here tonight in a huge way. Step three, all those participants who decided they wanted to remain engaged in the process and be part of its unfolding became budget delegates. Divided into thematic groups, they worked on all the ideas from the assemblies within their category from mid-November to February to turn these thoughts into concrete proposals. This required the delegates to research the feasibility limitations, meet with experts, conduct site visits, and write up the final proposal themselves to present at a second round of neighborhood assemblies to their community for feedback. Step 4. PB is celebrated because it thrives on maximum participation. Without the involvement of residents, there is no process. But with as much diversity of the community present as possible, change that represents everyone's input can be realized. Whether you have been involved from the beginning or just heard about the process in your area, the final vote on which proposals will be implemented can be affected by you. 
If you live in a district with PB and are over 18 years of age, be a part of the transformation. Reclaim your right to design, to influence, to create your community. Regain your right to the city. It's real money, real projects, and real power. Make it real with your vote.